gas fees on Ethereum today, why are they so high and why will they drop for rollups? It's really about having to share the same space with, with everyone else. And so they basically they, they use this a mechanism that was never designed for them. And so they have to just compete with everyone else using the same mechanism. And now we give them their own mechanism. In the future, that that not only basically allows us to price them separately, but in the future, we can also do more fancy things with that data. So we will, over time, have what, what maybe people know by the name of dunk sharding, which will actually kind of be more clever about how we how we treat the data. But for now, it's really more about this, just basically no longer having, having rollups have to basically um, suffer from the congestion that we experience on, on Ethereum mainnet. What 4844 does, it gives rollups a cheaper space to post their data. So for all the users that use rollups to get transactions at very close to the security level of native Ethereum, but much, much cheaper, um, we hope that 4844 will provide a large drop in prices because it will make data much cheaper on Ethereum. Now, rollups today, they, their cost is about 95% <laughs> call data and maybe like a 5% the rollup fees go towards towards operation, towards trying to schedule the base fee of the rollup in such a way that there's not no spam. A lot like EIP one five five nine on layer one, where you have to regulate the fee market to sustain a reasonable gas throughput. But looking at those fees compared to the layer one data fees, it's kind of unbalanced, and layer one data fees like the obvious area to to improve. It's really hard to estimate how much gas fees will drop because they're driven by both supply and demand. If demand stayed constant and we're adding, I think it's on the order of like 5x the amount of data space, like you could say, sure, okay, fees can drop by like up to 5x. But the problem is what happens in practice is when the fees go down, more people use it and it's like it, it pushes the fees back up. So you get to a spot where it's like more people using it for like the same fees. So I don't have a specific number. It's just extremely hard to predict because both the supply and demand are, are, are so variable. So in terms of how much 4844 will drop the prices, I still expect that there will be a large drop because right now all the rollups together still use less space than will be made available through 4844. So largely we expect that initially blobs are going to be very cheap and therefore rollup transactions will almost not have to pay anything for their data, which right now is the main cost, like 90% um, of the cost of rollup transactions. Now, there's no guarantee that this is the case. It might be that rollups will have much higher demand quite soon. It could even be the case that 4844 does not in itself make it cheaper at all. I don't expect this is the case, but this is possible. But uh, what it does enable us is to very soon also scale the number of blobs. And if we can scale them by at least a number of 10 or so, then I expect that a rollup transaction will just become extremely cheap. So there is a supply and demand question in there. Now, I'm, I'm not an economist, I'm an engineer. What I can say about the fees is that with the specialization of the research research, we also decouple the market from the EVM gas market. Now the EVM gas markets can theoretically serve up to two megabytes of data per block already. Except that if you use those two megabytes of data, then there's no EVM execution at all. There's no space for EVM execution left. And because this blob data resource is just so different from the gas resource and hosted in a different layer of the stack, we should decouple them, separate these markets to not induce this unnecessary conflict over the, the one resource. There are separate things and by decoupling that, rollups do not compete over the same resource as DAPs or DeFi does. <laughs>